Well, a prominent American investigator of the illegal ivory and rhino horn trade was found dead in his home with a stab wound in his neck. Now, the person has been identified as Esmond Bradley Martin, who was 75 years old and had spent several decades tracking the movement of animal products, mostly from Africa, to markets in Asia, Europe and Americas. Now, he was working to publish a report exposing as to how the ivory trade had shifted from China to neighbouring nations. The Bradley Martin's research played an important role in China's decision to ban its legal rhino horn trade in the year 1993. It also pressurised China to end the legal sale of ivory, which came into force on the 1st of January. Bradley Martin is the second prominent conservationist to die in East Africa in just the past one year. In August last year, South African Wayne Lotter, whose work targeted ivory smuggling from Africa to Asia, was shot dead in Tanzania.